Hey everyone, welcome to part 8 of Learning Rhino. Now today we're going to talk about why are we using Boolean difference, Boolean split, Boolean intersection, why are we using that, and most prominently Boolean difference, just to show you guys why I'm doing it. So, I'm um, starting here with a fresh new Rhino file, not um, the site model. Uh, we'll get back to that later in terms of how uh, what to do with that make 2d geometry that we did but for right now I really want I think I really lost um, what's it called I lost a, a part that I think is really important on why we're using boolean difference not just because it's easy and it's nice to use but for the sake of let's say making a drawing architecturally or using that in terms of like some draw like why you said before drawing it doesn't have to be architectural just a drawing in general um, uh, I think Boolean difference is really helpful for that, and I'm going to show you guys why today, because I don't think I really showed that very well. I just showed that it's really nice to manipulate geometry, but that's pretty much all I showed. I didn't show anything revolutionary in terms of 2D geometry. So let's get started. I'm just going to make two boxes real quick. So uh, they don't have; they can be any size. I'm just doing two boxes. And now I'm going to intersect them, uh, like, like actually, something like that. So I'm going to intersect them like that. Now, for one, this is not even possible to have two objects intersect like this without one having some sort of split in it. So if we go in the front view, it's not possible for this to go through and this to go through. Technically, if you think about it, it's too solid. Yes, you can get away with it in terms of just, like, faking it, but geometrically one has to be carved or the other so let's say we want to make a drawing of just this so I would type in isometric and that will give me an isometric view of any kind of um, cardinal angle so I'll say northeast actually not that one so let's do northwest no I don't like that either uh, okay I'm gonna go through every single one of them <laughs> So, let's say this one. I actually like this one. So, let's do a make 2D of this. So, I'm make 2D. This one should be fairly simple. And let's do that. And it shouldn't take too long. It's two blocks. Okay. So, now we are left with this. And you're like, wait. Why is this not showing? Shouldn't there be a line that intersects all the way through? At least, you know, a little line like kind of like this that will go through because right now it just looks like um, one two three four surfaces kind of tacked on and levitating above this solid box and that's what boolean difference will do it'll actually draw out those lines help it'll, it'll give you a decision on which one you would want to carve because i think that's important in general in terms of um, design and deciding which one do you want to be carved which one's more dominant. So in my case, this is the bigger one. So I'm going to say that's more dominant just for the sake of this tutorial. So I'm going to do a Boolean difference. I'm going to subtract from this and subtract with this. And now we're carved. See, now we highlight it. It's actually making that carved profile out right here. So now let's do a make 2D again. Let's see the difference between the two. So I just did make 2D and hit enter. And sorry about the noise in the background. I'm trying to talk a little louder because my uh, 3D printer is going in the background. Uh, it's near my desk. I don't want. I'm build. I'm currently building an enclosure for it. That's what it's printing right now. Part of um, an L bracket for an enclosure that I'm making in I from IKEA desks. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. But now we can see a difference. You can see that now these lines are showing, and it actually shows that carve action that's happening. Instead of this, this doesn't show anything. It just shows actually nothing. It just shows nothing that you would want versus this actually shows those two blocks being carved out. Which is really important in terms of design. You want to know what intersects with what and you want to know what's more dominant. I can tell immediately that this is the dominant object in over this just because you can see that card. That's the way you do it. If this was it, it would carve out differently. You would have to emphasize obviously with certain type of shading or colors when you use uh, Illustrator or Photoshop, but just for just the line work, this is very good. So, so this is why we use Boolean difference, because it'll actually make 2D, it'll actually give us those lines that are actually intersecting. 
And that's important, not just in design, but in terms of practical use. Do you really want to? Yeah, all right, we have a block here. I could redraw that line and do some work with this. But why do the work if, if the computer will do it for you? And you, technically, you're already doing it. So you're doing, so you already have them intersecting. Why do double time and like redo this, make 2D, then redo that? Instead, you could just do one command that will finish it, and you can do make two, two commands, technically, is make 2D, and then do make 2D, and you'll have it done. Like, there's no real reason to have to not use Boolean in terms of two objects intersecting. So that's just an, uh, an example with Boolean difference. Boolean intersect and Boolean split, they have some of the same kind of concepts, but it's it's mostly Boolean difference is what really helps out in terms of articulating that drawing. So yeah, guys, uh, this is a short one. Um, this one's really important, I feel. so. Um, it's short, simple, and it makes sense. So yeah, guys, uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later.